It's a quarter to one and MasterChef back on our screens, which is great news. And it's a bit of a new look and to explain everything that is going on, George and Gary, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good Thank afternoon. you for having us. It was uh, lovely to go out and see the actual, see the set, <laughs> see the kitchen, have a chat to you guys, which is up at 3 Dot au, but um, a whole sort of different approach for this season. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, I think we've seen a couple of the rough cuts of the episodes now. We haven't seen at one, strangely, have we? Which mm. is going to air on Sunday. <laughs> um, but I didn't say that purposely. We haven't. Uh, but it's got this lovely. Uh, loose feel and a very natural commentary from all the contestants. I think before you'd always see these, what we call vox pops, where someone's sitting in front of a, a backlit screen and it's very deliberate. This time round, it's, it permeates the whole show, this commentary from the contestants. And a bit of, bit of tongue-in-cheek stuff. You might have gathered that from the promos. Uh, yes. Uh, the other thing is you've, you've, you've only got the 22. Yeah, we go straight into the top 22 and sort of bypass that whole top 50 stuff and, and really get to know the characters. And I think we've already, through the promos, you get a little rough idea what it's all about. And, you know, th- this time around, we're also punctuating each week with themes. So we kick off with the controversial girls versus boys. <laughs> um, then we move on to things like Kids Week, Fast Food Week, Barossa Week. Um, and it's nice because you can sort of hang your hat on it, especially if you really love that that idea. Um, but on top of that, Masterclass has now moved to a Thursday and uh, we've uh, got the Matt Preston in there on a Thursday. Yeah. Dangerous, isn't it? We're, we're actually and we're wondering now whether it's, it's a cheats and layabout session. We're wondering whether that was a good idea. It seemed like a good idea, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> if you say there are changes, are there still cravats? Yeah, there are. He's he's gone naked. He's gone naked in the uh, kitchen, so to speak. He doesn't wear his cravat in the kitchen, does no, he? Thought. He's you, gone. You, oh no! You see the dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, you see the neck. It's funny, actually. You see, we see him. We see him come to work every morning, so we don't think of anything. Uh, we don't think anything's different. But um, people are really—they love his whole dress thing, his whole cravat thing. You, you also with this travelled the countryside, it's like the yeah. Leyland Brothers. Yeah, yeah. We did a little bit of a door knock around the country, so we we were. Lo- and it's you know what? It's one this of the, is, I love this concept. A pleasure of the show. Just knock on their door and say, "Hey, cook for us." Uh, and the shock when they open the door and go, what are you doing here? We go, we've come to see where you live and what you do. And at that point, they're expecting a producer, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the three of us there, and we go, right, cook something. And we get, you know what's nice is you you see, for the first time for us, you know, in audition processes in the past, you know, just a line of people and coming to cook in your uh, environment. And now we're looking inside their fridges and in their kitchens, looking on their shelves to see what cookbooks are there and meeting their families and, uh, seeing them cook in their own environment. No excuses, really. And if they're half smart, they'd have your cookbooks Co- there. Well, that's what we look for, don't we? Well, well, we also, because Matt Preston is, <laughs> a, a, you know, he's like a detective. He actually <laughs> opens up pages to see if they've been actually used. opened and yeah. used. And, or are they just on show? Uh, yeah, or they're just on show. But it would be so daunting for them. I know my friends, my close friends, when I'm a, I go over for dinner, they're like, they go into this weird frenzy and it's like chill out have yeah. a pineapple pizza i'm happy <laughs> but, uh, yeah. it, that would be an issue though for guys you know it, I, I suppose it happens in all professions yeah. so people who um install televisions yeah. probably every time they get to go to someone else's house there's a problem with something yeah. they need to fix but it would be daunting to have you blokes turn up and uh yeah. be cooking for you i always remember years ago good friends of ours and they got over it pretty quick because it's you know i i'm not fussy if someone else is cooking i love that and i don't really mind mm. what it is and my tolerance is pretty high so even if they get it wrong i don't mind um it's more the generosity that i love and uh, i remember years ago they cooked us a uh, Osabuco, and they were so proud of it. They'd spent all day cutting the vegetables and making sure everything was perfect. And we sat down, and I looked at it, and I thought, "Ooh, that doesn't look cooked. It looks raw." And when we cut into the where the little bone is, it, there was it was raw. raw. <laughs> and we had a few mouthful. I thought we can't eat it, and we started eating. I didn't want to say anything, and they said, "Oh God, you can't eat it, can you?" And I said, "No." I said, "But you know what we'll do? We put it back in the oven, and in about two hours we can." And we got drunk as skunks, and it was the best osabuco I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember it? I remember it. Um, nine six nine hundred six nine three. If you'd like to have a chat to Gary or George, new series Master Chef seven thirty on ten, and uh, you guys are going to get together sort of as a family group. Yeah, yeah. We, um, Matt and George and families and a few close friends are coming around to my house. Uh, George is bringing the dips. I'm doing the main. Matt's doing dessert. Oh, God. What is he going to do? Oh, God. I don't know. I think maybe lemon tart or oh. I just said, keep it easy, mate. Keep Please, it easy. Yeah. Is it true that he really <laughs> has never had you guys to dinner? Never. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so upset. And if, if he's listening right now, <laughs> Matt Preston, this is an absolute tragedy. But, you know, he's had Marco Pierre White yeah. there, you know. But he didn't he's want us. Bestie, but what does that us. tell you? 
what does that tell you? We invited Marco Pierre White, and he stressed about the menu, and he made sure everything was tickety boo. We haven't even had a cucumber sandwich. That's all we, we wanted. He's, and he's left his mates out. He's left his mates out. Cucumber his sandwich. He used to do food reviews on here with me. Did he? Yeah. 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 At four and a he, half. He years used ago. to review our restaurants. Yeah, Not yeah. anymore. And, and I believe Gary got a review from him, and he complained yeah, a about table. a wobbly table. I said, I don't want you to complain about it. We gave you it to you deliberately. <laughs> I want to talk winter warmers with you guys after the break, if we could. 96900 693 and your calls, 96900 693, winter warmers and any questions you have for George and Gary.